all right so first i found this choir it's a bulgarian choir i just looked it up because you know i've heard that the song that um Lil baby and Lil dirk and meek mill made called sharing locations they used a bulgarian choir so i looked up bulgarian choir i found this crazy video right and i found this loop well not loop but found this sample right so i was like that's uh, that's kind of hard i could do something with that so the first thing i did was come over here and i made sure to go like this lengthen it out and try to get a bpm on it So I was like, you know, I kind of like this first half, but I don't really like how it ended. So I took this part and I cut this part out. Boom. Brought this part over. And what I did here, because this part is a little bit faster than that part, is I took it and of course I pressed auto detect. 191 project for the first one but for the second one which is different um i had to make it unique and then i had to stretch it using the stretch tool here and you know make it a little bit shorter. and of course always put your samples on e3 generic so it will not change the the um pitch of your sample so i have to shorten it even more shorten it even more yep keep working on it boom this should be the one so boom oh wait, 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 wait. just messed it up all right boom now take this part close it it might need to be stretched a little bit more stretch even more stretch there we go so now that we have this chop what we're going to do is we're going to take it we're gonna put it into its own channel, route selected channels. Then we're gonna press disk recording, render the wave file, start, boom. Now this is our chop. This is our this is our sample. We can turn this on. So now we can see everything is on, you know, the right BPM. So we're gonna now take this press auto detect and it's 191 because this thing is 191 right and we're going to take it and we're going to stretch it so that it's half of itself right and then we're going to take this down to 150 okay restretch yes we're going to 150 
All right. So now we're at 150. Yeah, that's how about this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now it sounds a little bit more turnt. You feel me? So now that we have this chop, which we're going to play around with even more because we're going to do what? Add it to a channel. We're going to put some effects on it. So first I have um, some reverb, Valhalla Vintage Verb. Then I took out the low end, took out some of the high end. Then I added some, excuse me, man. Then I added some cinematics origin vintage plugin. Boom. Now let's see what it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. Next thing we're going to do, I'm going to take this up 200 cents. Okay. What does that do? That gives us a different, and I'm, I'm zooming in to make sure, see, sometimes you got to zoom in to make sure that it's not coming over um, onto the next line. All right, so now we got it chopped up. We got it scented up. Brings it to a different key. Boom. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some bells to this. We are now in contact. We have this plugin called Mallet Flux, and this is what I'm going to use to add some bells to this uh, beat. So first of all, we have this pattern here. We are in F minor. So if you have a MIDI scale pack, um, I would encourage you to use those ghost notes if you don't know how to do that and use F minor. So we're going to show you how to make this. So I'm just going up. Same thing repeated over. Yeah, I wanna I wanna add that some variation. So that is our melody right there. What we're gonna do to this though is we're gonna add some reverb, of course. Vahala vintage verb. We're gonna Add some EQ to it. Take out some of the low end. Take out some of the high end. And that origin again. Turn down this real to real a bit. But keep it up here in like 24, 25 maybe. Give it a more vintage feel. Now let's see what that sounds like with the melody. As you can see, sounds pretty on point. Now I'm gonna add this bass from a plugin called Analog Lab 5, and we have this bank called Supersonic. It's gonna come down here. Let me lengthen it out all the way. So that's going to be our base right there. So in fact, let me take that and make it its own channel. Base. Boom. Take it down here. Now it's its own thing. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this bell and we're going to make it into a WAV file. Why do we do that? We do that so that we can manipulate the WAV file and so we can make our pattern sound different than it would if we didn't turn into a WAV file and manipulate it, right? So we now have it as a WAV file. So we have So you might be saying, well, why did we change that? It's the same thing. It sounds the same. 
Well, first of all, it's not going to sound the same after we manipulate it. So in the second half, I'm going to make both of these unique, right? Make unique, make unique, and then I'm going to pitch them both down. Right? Then I'm going to make another another mallet. So now we have this mallet here, which we made unique, okay? And we take this and we pitch it. No, we're not even gonna pitch this one up. We're gonna leave it the same, press reset. Leave it the same, but we're gonna press stretch and then we're gonna bring it and make it. So now we have the melody going a little bit faster. All right, y'all, we did the melody. Now it's time to get to the beat. So we're going to start with the hi-hats. You know, we're going to start with the hi-hats. You know what I like to do? I like to just click them like this, and then press fill two steps so it gets the whole thing. Right? Now we're going to get the clap in there. Real simple stuff, real easy. Next thing I'm gonna do, add a 808. Now we know this is on F. We know it's on F. We know that for a fact. Double it up. Now we're gonna bring the second part down, get that different sound. That rhyme. Yeah. And this is the this is where we're gonna add that sauce in. We got that one third beat. Actually, we're gonna say one fourth step first. We're gonna take this part, we're gonna press control U. Make it a make it a, a roll now we're gonna make this part a triplet so we went to one third beat we're gonna bring this part down boom I didn't mean to do that. Bring it back. Stay here, baby. Stay here. Boom. Now we're going to add a snare. I want to pitch this snare up a little. to add up and add over hi hat to this jaw this jaw go crazy all right boom. you're gonna add a kick to it too i had to kick in the open hat at the same time i know y'all might be like yo you're going fast yeah pay attention look open hi hat Kick is not hitting on every single 808. It's hitting on different ones just to give it a little bit more bounce. We're going to put double this. And then on this ending part. You gotta make sure we go to 
on third beat again so we could get one of the kicks on the track. <laughs> double this this uh this snare right i mean not the snare what am i talking about we gotta double this open hi-hat when i say double i just mean copy it That's how you make the little baby, little Dirk, Meek Mill type beat. We got dark choruses in here. Showed y'all how to sample a little bit. Got the dark bells going. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment. I'm about to lay this whole beat out and you know show you how to show you how it sh could be laid out and you know let you hear the full beat. FLP is in the description if you would like to download it. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, comment, all that. We're on our way to 20K. Let's get it.